San Francisco is situated on a peninsula surrounded by water, and this boundary limits the expansion of the city. This constrained space equally affects the growth of the University of California, San Francisco. UCSF owns several campus sites within the city. To help UCSF fulfill our public mission of patient care, health sciences education, and research, our faculty, staff, students, and trainees are working and learning in sites owned by the city and federal government. In this video, you'll learn about major renovation and construction projects at several UCSF sites. Our Parnassus Heights campus site is in the heart of the city, surrounded by a densely populated neighborhood. As a result of an agreement with the neighboring community and to be a good neighbor, the UC region set campus boundaries and an upper limit on the amount of building area on the Parnassus Heights campus site, excluding housing. The limit on building area is known as the space ceiling. As of fall 2016, UCSF exceeds the space ceiling on Parnassus by approximately 3.7%. Our long-range development plan commits us to reduce our excess square footage by demolishing some buildings and renovating others to be more efficient. The complete long-range development plan can be found at the UCSF campus planning website, along with facts and figures about the space ceiling. UCSF is committed to the revitalization of Parnassus Heights and plans are underway to renew the campus while respecting the limitations on development. Revitalization efforts began in 2014 when several floors of the Health Sciences Towers and portions of the Medical Sciences Building were completely renovated. Revitalization efforts at Parnassus Heights dovetail with the equally important need to strengthen our buildings, performing seismic renovations or replacement in order to keep our patients, students, and employees safe. Establishing the first phase of work at Parnassus Heights, UCSF has committed a $400 million investment in several large renovation and infrastructure projects, including the modernization of the Clinical Sciences Building and UC Hall. The Clinical Sciences Building is undergoing a seismic retrofit and is expected to be completed in 2018. This will house classrooms, conference rooms, and an open plan workspace for approximately 400 people. UC Hall is proposed to be renovated upon completion of CSB, with three floors of housing and three floors of open plan workspace. After the retrofit, the two buildings are expected to accommodate workspace for approximately 600 people and an open plan workspace design and housing for approximately 130 students. To further revitalize Parnassus Heights, UCSF proposes to demolish obsolete buildings and complete a new hospital addition on the current Langley Porter site by 2030. At that time, the current hospital building is expected to be converted to academic, administrative, and support use. UC Hall also would be fully converted to housing at that time, along with the Millbury Union Towers. There's also very active planning going on to solve the challenges many of our Parnassus Heights-based laboratory scientists are facing due to aging research buildings. All of these actions together will serve to truly revitalize Parnassus Heights. Building projects in various stages of planning and construction that will come to fruition in and around Mission Bay by 2021 include the Precision Cancer Medicine Building, the Weill Institute for Neurosciences, an academic building on a portion of Block 33, a psychiatry building on 3rd Street, and housing on Minnesota Street. In addition, UCSF has proposed to build a new research and academic building at Zuckerberg San Francisco General Hospital and Trauma Center. UCSF continues its presence at the historic Mount Zion site and will continue to develop plans and share information with both the internal UCSF community and our neighbors in San Francisco. Another factor in UCSF's complex and multi-location space equation is economy of scale. As a recipient of state and federal funds and the second largest employer in San Francisco, UCSF has a fiduciary responsibility to the public to be a good steward of its resources as well as the environment. This is no easy feat. The cost to operate and maintain buildings is increasing and the price of real estate is skyrocketing in San Francisco. UCSF is extremely fortunate to have dedicated philanthropic partners. Several of our buildings bear the names of these visionary individuals. Benioff Children's Hospital, Byers Hall, Dolby Regeneration Medicine, Sandler Neurosciences Center, 
Arthur and Tony Remby Rock Hall, Betty Irene Moore Women's Hospital, Baker Cancer Hospital, just to name a few. To support our faculty and staff in their work to teach, discover, and care for patients, it is critical that UCSF build and use space wisely, design agile functionality, and lay out and minimize unused or underused space across campus sites. Towards this end, UCSF convened a space committee comprised of faculty and staff representatives and advisors. The UCSF leadership team is committed to getting the input of faculty, staff, user groups and advisory committees, including the UCSF Community Advisory Group, as part of the decision-making process for every major building project. In order to evolve with advancing technologies and continue collaboration on a global level, UCSF must maintain, renovate, and create new space from existing. This involves myriad challenges and opportunities. One thing is for sure, it is important that throughout this process, we continue to engage and provide information available to all members of the UCSF community. Please explore our website, space.ucsf.edu, to learn more. We welcome your questions and ideas.